So now we're going to take a look at the connection between correlation and what it kind of looks like on a scatter plot diagram so that we can see, uh, can, can we really tell what the correlation might be if we looked at a scatter plot diagram? And the answer is basically yes, um, in many cases. It'll at least give us an idea. Uh, so we have two columns here. We have the tuition per credit and the enrollment uh, for a particular class. Now again, correlation doesn't necessarily mean causality, but we're just using this as an example. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our um, correlation, and I'm going to say, okay, well, we want to find out the correlation between tuition and enrollment. Uh, again, labels in the first row. I'll just move this over a little bit to D. Click OK. And here we have our uh, enrollment and tuition, and it looks like that there is a very strong negative correlation between uh, tuition and enrollment, which means as tuition goes up per credit, our enrollment decreases. They go in opposite directions. So let's take a look at what this might look like with a scatter plot diagram. So we're basically going to highlight our data set, and we're going to insert a chart. We're going to insert a scatter plot chart. And our scatter plot chart comes over here. I'll move that over so we can see. And I'm not worried about the margins here and the uh, axis where it goes from 0 to 60. We don't have any data points. I just want to basically look at what this shows us. And you can see that as tuition increases, the enrollment is obviously decreasing. And so it is negatively correlated. And so using this type of chart, scatter plot chart, we can kind of infer what this is going to be. If there was no connection at all, uh, we might see a... Uh, a, uh, a cloud pattern or no discernible pattern. Let's take a look at what that might look like. So here we have another data set, tuition and enrollment. I've changed the numbers slightly. We're going to actually look and see what our scatter plot looks like first. So I'm going to highlight our data set and I'm going to go to chart and scatter plot. And here we have something that might look a little bit more in an upward, but it's really a little bit hard to tell because again, as it's increasing, can't really tell exactly what's going on here, not as clear as this. So let's take a look at what our correlation might look like. So we're going to basically go back up to Tools. We're going to go to Data Analysis, Correlation. We're going to choose our new data set, which will be from H1 to I10. Again, keeping everything the same. We'll just move this over to, so that the output goes to the row K. I click OK, and here we see that our number is 0.11. So in this case, it appears as though there may be a slightly positive correlation, but we can prove later on that that is not statistically significant, that this number is really that there's no correlation between this tuition and this enrollment numbers. And so you can see from the scatter plot, sometimes it's really easy to tell. Other times, you know, we could tell here that there doesn't seem to be a correlation, but we go back to proving the numbers and we can see that it's definitely not as strong as it was over here. Thank you.